Hey, my name is Anastasia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this weekend's vlog. I have the weekend to myself, which is like a rarity, I would say. Um, my flatmate's out of town and my boyfriend's spending time with his family. So I'm on my own and I'm so excited. Today is Saturday. This morning I got up pretty early, hung out with my boyfriend for a bit, and then he went to go meet his family. And then I went to a spin class, which was great. I haven't been to one in ages. This is my crate of makeup. I don't know how else to store it, so everything I need is in this little crate. Let's get ready together. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm just going in with the Prep and Perfect Vitamin Enriched Moisturizing Primer from Primark. So yeah, as you saw, I went to spin this morning and then I stopped by the Apple store to pick up my new phone. I decided to go for a iPhone 15 Pro Max in white. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max right now and it's just been, it's been a while and I was just ready to upgrade. So I'm very excited to set it up this weekend. I have some like fun stuff coming up. So I'm excited to have like good camera quality for those things because I've got some like fun gigs coming up. I'm going to Brussels next weekend, which is like really exciting. I've never been there before. So yeah, I came back from spin. I just hopped in the shower, washed my hair, did the whole thing. And now I'm just getting ready again because I feel like I want to go out. I just want to go like wander around. I want to go to Primark because it's not a Saturday if I don't go to Primark. Maybe go to H&M, maybe I'll go to TK Maxx, HomeSense, maybe Waterstones. I don't know. I just want to like, I just want to go wander around. When I was like at the Apple store this morning, I peeked into the window of Urban Outfitters like in their home section and I really want to go have a little look because they had some cute stuff. Not that I need anything, but I don't know about you guys, but I've been listening nonstop for the last week to Ariana Grande's new album and I absolutely love it like I'm not a huge Ariana Grande fan I haven't really listened to her stuff before and I'm so obsessed with her new album it's literally all I've been listening to I swear it's just so good so I'm also thinking that maybe we'll go to HMV and buy it on vinyl because I saw that they have a cool cover when I go to Primark later I want to see if they have the drunk elephant bronzing drop dupe in stock because I've seen it a few times while I've been there and I've never picked it up and this morning when I was getting ready for spin I was like oh I wish I just had some like bronzy glowy situation to just make myself feel a bit better about going I also really want a new jelly cat like I don't know I'm not like nothing specific I haven't really seen one where I'm like oh my god I want that it's so cute I mean they're all adorable but I just think it'd be so cute. I don't want to spend loads of money this weekend because I did just buy a new phone, but I have been saving for that for a while, so it's not a big deal, but I definitely want to get the Ariana Grande album. I feel like that would be such a nice addition to my collection because I love it. If you know me in person, I absolutely love having my nails done. Like, I constantly have my nails done. There's never a moment where I don't have my nails done, and if they start chipping, I'm like, like losing it a little bit. Because I loved doing my nails so much, I decided to invest in a little like gel at home kit, which I have been doing for like probably two years now. And I just was taking a little bit of a break because I did them like nonstop for probably like a year. So I decided to take a little break. I'm not an expert. I don't have like formal training. So I don't really think anyone should be taking my advice on it. But I was like using a nail drill to drill off my old gels and like put on new manicures. And I just felt like I needed to give my nails a break because they felt a bit, a bit thin and a bit like they could just use some TLC. I haven't done gel since it's probably Christmas just because I wanted to give them like a, a true genuine break it's been a while all my nails are like super strong now I've just been using like nail polish this is just like a shimmery shade that I've been using that I picked up at Boots and so I've just been having that on my nails and just like leaving them alone doing like cuticle oil and just letting them do their thing the sun is like really blinding and I like can't really see what my makeup's looking like so if you see me later out and about and I look ridiculous don't mind me. I ordered a phone case for my new phone from The Dairy. They have this like beautiful line of phone cases with this like artic and it's like white. I'll put a picture of it here but it's like white and it has a blue bow on it and I'm so excited to get it in the mail. I really can't wait. I absolutely love this blush. It's like really gross and dirty but this is um elf putty blush in Bora Bora and I feel like I go through phases where I forget about this blush and then I put it on again and I'm just like it is stunning. Well, you can't see it because of this lighting, but trust me, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to get like a little bit of sushi for dinner. I feel like that would be so yummy and just watch like 
I don't know, maybe a movie or maybe I'm gonna like start re-watching one of my favorite shows. I am an avid re-watcher. I'm re-watching Grey's Anatomy right now. It's kind of on the like flop side of things, so I'm a bit phased out of it to be honest, but I watch it sometimes when um, I'm doing design and stuff at work. I'm just gonna put a little bit of brown mascara on. I have a LVL lash lift. Okay, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and get dressed and finish my coffee and then we will get going. I'm so excited to spend the day with you guys. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, I blow dried my hair clearly and I got dressed. Just wearing a very basic outfit. Gray shirt, leather jacket, light wash jeans, little tote bag and my cutie little loafers. Okay, I'm back home. It is 4.10. I was out for ages, but you guys, it was like a major flop. I like got to Primark and I was so excited. And then I stepped foot inside and it was a zoo, like absolute zoo. They didn't have those bronzing drops I was looking for. It was just like shit selection. I don't know. And I was like, once I got there, I was like, oh yeah, like I'm in the mood to spend some money. I didn't spend a penny. So a bit disappointed with what what was in the shops today. I went to Primark, H&M, Urban Outfitters, Scribbler to look at Jelly Cats, HomeSense, and TK Maxx. And I didn't find a single thing at any of those places, which is insane because I normally can find something cute. But I did go to HMV and I bought Ariana Grande's album with the alternative cover because I just think this is so cute and I'm so excited. I hope it's colored vinyl because I feel like that would be cute if it was red, but we'll open it up and we'll see. I'm gonna do it an unboxing video on TikTok. I also stopped and picked up sushi for dinner. I'll show you. I just went to Itsu and I got this little like salmon delicious box. So I'm gonna eat that for dinner later, which I'm very excited about. And then I also was a bit naughty and I went to Cinnabon. Guys, it's been open for ages and I haven't been. And I was just like, I want a cinnamon bun tomorrow morning for breakfast. How good does that look? If you guys could smell it, you would die. Oh, I'm so excited to eat that tomorrow morning with a nice coffee. Now that I'm back, I like don't really know what to do with my evening. I was like, I could paint my nails, but I feel like I wanna scroll on Pinterest to find some inspo, so maybe I'll do my nails tomorrow. But right now, I'm gonna unbox this and have a little listen because I think it's only half an hour. So this is the front cover, which is so cute, I love it. And then this is the inside, just this photo of her. And then this is the back. It's red! Oh, I love that. That's so suiting to the album. Yay, it sounds so good. So I just edited my Ariana Grande vinyl TikTok and posted that. I have some laundry I'm gonna put away and then I'm also just gonna like clean my room a little bit. I'm like waiting for my bed sheets to dry so I can't make my bed again, but I'm just gonna put my laundry away and clean. So I want to take my makeup off, but last night I used the last of my micellar water and I didn't rebuy it today. But I thought I would have a look in my big giant bag full of, oh shit, um, my big giant bag full of products that I've accumulated that I need to get through. And I figured there's got, oh god, <laughs> there's got to be some sort of like cleansing oil or something that will break down my makeup. Um, so I'm going to have a look through here and see if I can find anything because there's so much in here. These are all the products that were in that bag. I've got a lot of these like skin fix products. There's a lot in here, but I think I'm gonna go for this cleansing oil because I feel like that'll be good to like break down the makeup that I'm wearing. So I thought I'd show you guys my evening skincare routine, obviously with the new edition of this cleansing oil. So I'm just gonna put the cleansing oil on a cotton pad. Yeah, it's definitely working. I don't think that's the best way to use it. I am just gonna like pour it into my hands and use it. Yeah, I don't like this. I think that's way more effective. I'm just gonna double cleanse with my like normal cleanser that I use, which is one of the Skin Fix cleansers. 
Next, I'm going in with the Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Correction Pads. I cut mine in half just because I don't think I need a full one. And I'm just going over my face with it. Next, I'm going in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout. I just put a couple of drops in my hand and pat that onto my skin just because I've been having a few breakouts recently. So I'm just trying to combat that. I also recently bought this little fan, which I've used to dry my face in between steps of my makeup and my skincare, which is really nice. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Biosance Squalene and Lactic Acid Serum. And then this is my new eye cream, which is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Eye Serum. I just do two drops of this and lightly press that in. And I've really been liking this so far. How cute is this fan, by the way? I got it at Sostrin Green. Because I don't have a sheet mask and I wanna use some sort of nice moisturizing mask. I'm going to use the Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask and I'm just going to put that all over. I highly recommend this mask because you don't need a lot of it and it, the tub will last you literally ages. Delicious. We're all glowy and hydrated. Last but not least, this is a Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Peach. I'm going to go figure out what to watch and have some sushi. I'm so excited. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's 20 to nine on Sunday morning. I just made my latte. I am gonna warm up my cinnamon bun that I got yesterday and I'm gonna eat it all in bed because that's what Sundays are for. Okay, I had my latte and my cinnamon bun. They were delicious. I'm just gonna do my skincare and get ready and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping just to get it over with. My morning skincare is not that different to my evening skincare. I just put on the Kiehl's toner. I just have like a little sample of it. I don't really like it so far. And now I'm gonna go in with the Ordinary eye serum again. I'm also thinking I might pop into Superdrug just to look at what they have in the e.l.f. cosmetic section. There's that like lip clout thing, pout clout, I don't know what it's called, that I'm really tempted to try. Just cause I haven't tried any of the like, the Tarte Maracuja whatever thing. Looks beautiful, but just so expensive. I'd rather just buy like a little e.l.f. version. I'm so sad, today's the day. This is my Holy Grail moisturizer. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge Mo Moisturizer. It's a huge tub and I'm finally done it. I think I probably have one in that big bag of stuff that I showed you guys last night. So I'll find a new moisturizer in there and then eventually we'll come back to this because I always do. <laughs> I'm gonna just put a little bit of concealer on and some brow gel and then get ready and we'll go grocery shopping. Okay, this is my outfit for grocery shopping. I just have these big bags for what I'm getting. Um, this pink and black striped one is from Acne and it's actually my favorite bag ever. It's perfect for like, weekends away, taking to the beach because it's plastic, grocery shopping, absolutely love it. This is what I'm wearing, just some like dark wash jeans, my Reeboks, gray sweater, leather jacket, and I have my Bose headphones as well. And yeah, so I'm going to go to Superdrug to see if I can find those e.l.f. products and then we'll go to Morrison's, get some food, and then I'll come back and I'll do a grocery haul. Okay, I'm back from food shopping and I actually really love going on Sunday mornings. I haven't done that in ages, but it wasn't too busy and everything was freshly stocked. So I managed to find everything I needed. So I'll do a grocery haul, but first I did end up going to Superdrug and I bought the e.l.f. pout clout lip thing. They actually had testers, which was crazy because I feel like Superdrug never has testers of things that I want to try. So I definitely thought I was gonna get the shade Pinkies Out or Pinky Out or something, but I tested it on the back of my hand. It was way lighter than I thought. So I ended up going for this color, which is Busta Mauve. Busta Mauve, how funny is that? Um, but like brownie color, but it looked 
the best for like what would suit my lip color. I don't really know. Ah. So let's try it. Oh yeah. Wow. This is so nice. It's got a very like glossy. Oh. It feels almost like tingly. Is it supposed to be like minty? Oh, it's a plumper. So if you read the packaging, like I didn't, it's a, a three-in-one lip plumper gloss and balm, which it's tingly. So it's definitely got that like plumping agent. I really like the color. I feel like it's a my lips but better color. So yeah, that was in the shade Bust a Mauve. Q Will Schuster. Busting a move. Literally jail. Let's do a little food haul. So these are my two big grocery bags. The acne one I was talking about. And then this is like a Kath Kitson bag that I bought at Tesco. Let's go through all the refrigerated stuff first. I got peaches. Green beans. Iceberg lettuce because I was walking around and then all of a sudden I had a massive craving for a Caesar salad. So I'm gonna have that today. I got two heads of broccoli because I'm gonna be having broccoli like all week and I just love broccoli. Green grapes, these look absolutely massive and delicious and so good. So I'm excited to have these. A cucumber, lots of, everything's green. I don't, I'm in my, I'm in my green era. <laughs> this was 12 pounds. I already have chicken breasts in the freezer, but it just was like a really good deal. There's eight chicken breasts in here. So yeah, I just decided to get it and I'll like individually wrap them and then I can put them in the freezer and just pull them out as and when I need. But this is your sign to like, when you go to buy chicken breasts, count how many you're getting, okay? Because the first pack I picked up was the exact same packaging, same price point, whatever. And they only had seven in there. And this one has eight. So check, check what's in there. Check what you're buying because I could have lost out on a chicken breast. Now for the big acne bag full of like pantry whatever stuff, um, aside from these. I bought pizzas because I kind of want one for dinner tonight or like with my Caesar salad. I feel like that'll be really good. And then I'm going to freeze the other one just because they were having a two for whatever deal. So this one is hot honey and salami, which is new. And that just sounds so good. I love honey and salami. Like I just feel like that's so good. In Calgary, there's a restaurant called Una and... Um, they do like this honey, cheesy, delicious pizza. So that made me think of it. So I decided to get that. And then this is just salami and cheesy deliciousness. I've had this before, it's good. Next, I got a loaf of this bread. This is the thick cut sunflower and pumpkin loaf. This is hands down the best loaf of bread you can buy. Like I will die on that hill. At Morrison's, if you see this, buy it because it is so delicious. It's great for just like breakfasts. It's perfect for sandwiches. I like to eat it with like tuna. It's so good. And it's just like seedy and delicious. Like I am not a white bread stan. I don't get it. It's just like, like why? Why? This is it. This is so good. Then I just got some like random pantry bits that I was like running out of. So I got black sesame seeds just cause I like to sprinkle that on top of things my Caesar salad dressing. And I got some cans of tuna just cause I feel like this is always good to have. I got a jar of pasta sauce. Again, I just like to have it just in case I'm feeling lazy and don't wanna cook. I just picked up a little bag of croutons for my Caesar salad today. <laughs> then I got some assorted spices cause I looked up this recipe on Pinterest last night and I needed some of them and some I had just run out of. So I got garlic granules, onion granules, chili powder, ground cumin, and paprika and then last but not least i got this bag of sweet potatoes because i'm gonna have these for dinner during the week so that's everything i got today and it cost me 48 pounds i feel like it's not that bad like a lot of it is pantry stuff that'll last me ages so i won't need to rebuy it as frequently and it's a lot of food i'm just one person i'm not gonna eat it that fast so it's good i can freeze and i got the chicken breast too so i'm pleased with my little grocery haul and it's just so nice because it's literally 11:50. like 
I have all day to just do whatever I want and I love that. Here's the game plan for the rest of the day. I'm gonna put all my groceries away, make a fun little beverage, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my new phone because I didn't do it yesterday and I really want to. So I'm gonna set up my new phone and while everything's like transferring over and doing its thing, I'm gonna go through my closet. I said it and now I feel like I have to do it and I already don't want to, but I just need to do it and I need to put, I have like a little pile in my in my room of stuff that I like know I wanna get rid of that I need to put on Vinted and I've just been putting it off all week. So I figure if I'm gonna put stuff on Vinted, I might as well just do another sort through and get rid of some other stuff if I can. So groceries away, fun drink, phone, and then going through my closet. Okay, for my fun drink, I have my glass of ice. And I'm gonna have a Lipton peach iced tea because I actually love these. And I bought a pack of them. I didn't know they came in cans, but I bought a pack. Let's do it. Delicious. Um, I bought a pack of them at Tesco in cans because they were in the reduced section because one of the cans was missing, but it was like more than half off for the entire thing. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get those. But I freaking love Lipton peach iced tea. This is like the perfect drink. Now that I have my fun little drink, I'm gonna unbox my phone. I'm gonna do a little unboxing on TikTok. So I'm gonna set that up, do it, and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I just did like an ASMR style unboxing on my TikTok. I don't know if I'll keep it ASMR style, but I like to film it with the option to, but this is my new phone. I'm so excited to set it all up. I got the white titanium. I was like really keen to get the natural, but I went to go look at it in person and I didn't really like it that much. So I opted for the white classic. I'm gonna put a case on it so it really doesn't matter, but I definitely need to order a screen protector. And then I was also debating getting camera covers. Um, so if anybody's had those before and likes them or dislikes them or anything, let me know. Yeah, I have a phone case on the way. I just like don't know when it's gonna show up, but I could, I, I just didn't want to wait for the phone case to start to like set up my new phone. So hopefully it arrives in the beginning of this week and then I can just like pop my cute phone case on and then I have my new phone. Okay, it's been a bit. My phone's still transferring all of its data over. I have really bad Wi-Fi, so I think it's just gonna take ages. But I went through a little bit of my closet. So I made this pile. Um, I made this pile of stuff that I'm gonna put on Vinted and then I have some like accessories and other things that I'm also gonna put on Vinted as well I'm excited to just like get that sorted once my phones are done because I need them to take pictures I'm gonna get all of that up on Vinted. So hopefully So hopefully stuff sells this week so I can like ship it all out because it just feels so good. My hair is Doing its own thing. I don't know. This is your reminder to clean your makeup brushes because that's what I'm about to do right now Mine are really dirty and just like desperately need to be cleaned and since I'm going away this coming weekend I want to make sure that they're all clean so I can take whatever I need on Saturday so I'm gonna clean them right now I just use delicate detergent I don't really know like I've used hand soap before I've used shampoo before I don't really think it matters whatever works for you I find that the delicate stuff works well so I'm gonna do that now so that they're dry um, not that I'm probably gonna use them tomorrow but I'm gonna do that right now Okay, so I've set up my phone, which is great. I posted everything that I wanted to on Vinted, and now we wait and hopefully people buy it. But I'm gonna make a Caesar salad because I'm so hungry. It's 3.30 and I haven't eaten anything today aside from my cinnamon bun this morning, which to be fair, I did eat the whole thing. So it has put me on for the day. Okay, I have my iceberg lettuce in my bowl. I'm gonna add a few of these garlic and herb croutons. I can never really find croutons at Morrison's. I only find them in these like tiny bags. Get my Caesar dressing. Oh, my cheese. Just gonna, I don't have any Parmesan, which is kind of annoying, but I'll just, just shred a bit of my normal mature cheddar cheese. I also have these, which I bought at M&S. They're just little like salami snacks. So I think I'm just gonna have these on the side. Um, because why not? Give a little mix. There's something about like a Caesar salad, fries, and a Diet Coke 
that just hits so different. I feel like I'm gonna hyper fixate on Caesar salads now that I've had this random craving. Let's have a bite. I mean, you just can't go wrong. So good. I'm gonna eat my delicious salad and watch New Girl and scroll on Pinterest and see if I can find nail inspo because I kind of want to do my nails, but I'm kind of not in the mood, but I also am just like, what else am I going to do? So I'm going to scroll on Pinterest and see if I can find some cute nail inspo. And if I can't find anything that's motivating me, then I'm just not going to do them, but got to try. Let me know how you guys spend your Sundays normally. Okay, it's been a bit and I've decided to do my nails. This is my big nail bag. I do my gel nails at home. I'm not like trained or anything, so I don't know if I'm doing anything right. So please don't take my word for it. Do your research or you can look into getting trained. But yeah, I'm gonna do my nails. I'm really excited. I found this picture that I had pinned ages ago on Pinterest that I'll put here. Um, that's just like clear with a little black flower and then a cute little rhinestone. So that's what I'm gonna do just to ease myself back in because I'm not in the mood to do like intense nail art or anything right now, but I do wanna do something just because I think it's fun. I'm gonna load up Gilmore Girls because I'm watching it for the first time and it's taking me ages to get through, but I do love it. So I'm gonna watch Gilmore Girls while I do my nails. I pulled out everything that I need, so I keep trying to remember to use this. This is just an SPF. If anything, it's just good to moisturize my hands. <laughs> I use Miley gel polish. I know some people don't really like this, but I haven't really had a problem with it. And I go in with a clear builder gel just to keep them nice and strong. And then this is a top coat. And then I just have this Beatles black gel polish. So I'm gonna use this. And then I just have this pack of assorted colored gems that I got on Amazon and they're like the perfect size for me. They're like quite small. I don't know if you can kind of see how small they are, but I'm just gonna use the clear silvery ones. Today, I have this little palette that I'm gonna put the black polish on and then I'm gonna use my dotting tool to pick that up and do that on the nail. And then I also have just a pair of really fine point tweezers to pick up the gems and put them on my nails so that's all of those and then i just have a nail lamp that i bought on amazon i just bought this initially when i started doing my nails but i am looking to get a new better lamp and a better drill just because i bought them initially just to test out and see if i liked them which i do so now i want to invest in better ones just because i might as well and i spend so much time doing my nails normally so that's what i'm gonna do my my lamp actually just is a USB, so it just plugs into my laptop, which is perfect. So I can set my laptop up here, watch Gilmore Girls, and do my nails all at the same time. Because I was just wearing regular polish, I just took that off, cleaned up my cuticles, and just like filed my nails down. So they're really, really short, which I don't mind because I feel like this gives me a good base to just like start my gel polish journey all over again. So I'm going to just take my time with it and just know that might take me longer because i feel like to properly do builder gel you just need to take your time and do it so i'm gonna do my nails and i might time lapse some bits of it but if not i will show you the final result okay i'm finally done that took me longer than i thought but it's been a while since i've done them so i think i was just trying to take my time but i absolutely love how they turned out I think they're super cute. I just did clear builder gel and then black flowers with little rhinestones on them and I really love the way they turned out. So it's 20 to 8. Um, it's kind of late so I'm gonna quickly cook one of those pizzas that I picked up earlier today. Probably the hot honey salami one because that sounds good. And I'm going to watch a show. Maybe Gilmore Girls. I'll keep watching. Or maybe I'll watch a movie or something. Um, and then yeah I might I'll probably just start editing this vlog, but I hope you guys had a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to hang out some more and follow me on my social medias. I'll have them all linked down below and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!